Nerdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. and anime and manga contributor to Bounding Into Comics. And today's Mama Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the God of High School chapter 536. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And we're one woman operation struggling to keep a roof over our heads. And uh, we might end up on the street at any moment, but if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation afloat, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, Utopia is falling. It is falling hard. The operation that uh, um, was set up by Mubong, yeah, it ain't working out for you, is it? Yeah, you can blame... Uh, more gin all you want. But yeah, your setup ain't working. Your shit getting destroyed. And yeah, Utopia is dead. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. This is the Central Bureau of Medical Service. Wait, this is the Central Bureau of Medical Services? It's disgusting. Yeah, then babies are being artificially born. That's nasty. For the most part. Hurry, we have to get out of here. We'll go to we'll go to the central. Your generation might be great and protected by the uh, interface, but do you have no idea what the executives now can do? Yep. All right. Your generation might be uh, great and protected by the interface, but you have no idea what the executives now can do, right, Kitty? You don't know. You don't know, Kitty. They're the veterans of veterans who have survived countless battles until now. You guys are going to suffer considerable damage, too. Let's go to the Central. Meanwhile, it's Central. Doo -doo -doo -doo, A.K.A. Central Utopia. Central Tower. Dude, this is straight-up Utopia. It is, and it is going to fall. The Bureau of Medical Services is severely damaged. At this rate, we'll be in danger, too. Hmm... Wow, look who's here! Hi? Um, there's Generation X leader, uh, Miguel. You were safe, Eve! Um, Miguel! Come to think of it. Isaac, welcome! I'm glad you're alright! Uh, were those kids that big? Damn, they're growing fast! We grow far faster than the old humanity does. We're maintaining a much faster growth rate, uh, than when, uh, we were on Earth with the help of Gaia. Um, this is what we chose to create a strong human world as soon as possible. We're really grateful to the two of you. There was no way we could defend against the uh, raid at the Me Bureau of Medical Services, too. Our hands were full even defending the Central at the moment. Are you the mister who fought with Mr. Mujin? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> they're all attacking him. Don't ever bully Mr. Mujin, okay? So soft. Aww. You guys do look fine, but you're all exhausted. <sighs> Call me the chef of the day. Assistant one, assistant two. Yay! Look at that! Look at that, kitties! Look at that! They don't know how to cook. No, they do not know how to cook like you do, kitty. Chef kitty. Chef Seno, I am the chef. I am the ultimate cook. I'm the ultimate cat, the Zenos. The kitties too much. Switch the kitties. He's a smart cat, because he is my cat. So, uh, it's good. Calorie bars are no match for this. They were eating calorie bars? What? This is supposed to be Utopia, and you only giving them calorie bars? That's sad. So tasty. Aww. The interface always checks our condition, so you don't have to do this. You don't stay quiet. I'm going to give you a shot that hurts. <laughs> How many days have you all gone without showering? Go take a shower now. Um, can we talk for a minute? Facilitate negotiation? Yes, we do not, um, we, uh, do want no more war. Uh, we would like to suggest coexistence here. So please be the negotiator. The negotiator, well, I came here to stop the war too, so I'll take you up on that, but as for our families left on Earth, um, as, as for us, our families left on Earth are dying now. Yes, I know. 
I understand your situation, but at this rate, both sides will suffer greatly. Wouldn't it be better to meet each other halfway and find a way to coexist? It's an unexpected offer. Should I have turned it down? Look who's here. It's the Queen of Doom from Team Medic. I knew you'd be alive. Oh, Peg oh Pegasus, so you don't die easily, do you now? What? Negotiation coexistence? Wait, just calm down for a minute. Keep going. Executive Team Latin, the one. They're adjusting coexistence. This guy scares me. There might also be a way to bring the humanity on Earth here. Humanity on Earth? Are you talking about the Earth you see there? Do you really think there's any survivor when the Earth is all wrecked now? Humanity is over. We'll accept. We should at least listen to what they've got to say. Tell them we're up for negotiation. Whoa. Thank you very much for agreeing to meet us. My apologies, but please wait outside until the meeting is over. No. Look at that, he's on their level. We um have this meeting uh, we hope this meeting will pave the way for our coexistence. Coexistence? My ass, my ass. We're here to collapse together. Why? Huh? No! Huh? Explosion? It's an attack! You seem to be greatly mistaken. Explosion is detected. Intruders are in the building. The interface is now in instant kill mode. We have no intention whatsoever of living on this land. I told you, let's all die together. The one, see? We did our best. Intruders, intruders in the in the building. So, oh come on! Kill them all, crush them. Dude, you guys are no fucking different than the ones you're setting out to kill. I understand they're pissed, but come on, crush everything, execute, execute immediately. Oh fuckers! Because of being a bunch of pricks. Is it just a metal pipe? Huh? You are... Why are you on their side? No, it's not what I think, right? What do you think this is? This is a commentary on what's happening right now on the interwebs. So tired of the stupidity. Aren't you, Key? Aren't you tired of the stupidity? With the, with the um, whole, um... What was it? The groomer versus bigot shit? Oh, you tired of it? Yeah, you tired of it too. It's so stupid. It's stupid, isn't it? Why, kids, it's so stupid. You're staying out of it, right, cat? We're staying out of it, right, kitties? We're avoiding it like the plague, but this is what it's given me. Just saying. Why are you on their side? No, it's not just that either. It's just in general. But, like, this specifically, just thinking about, like, the, um, how the kids are being, you know, bred and all that, and what Mujin is attempting to do, it just really is kidding me. Anyways, um, you must be on our side. People on the same side don't do this. You're just acting, yeah? I do know about, I do know about losing your family. Rage, despair, your lover and children. I felt it, and Move On felt, Park felt it too. Get rid of those devils together! Piss off! What do I do? Just wake up! Do you realize the ones you're attacking are kids? What's the nonsense about all of a sudden? My kid also died, so it doesn't matter if they die. Uh, matter if they do too. I see this on Twitter all the time. You can only say that because you're um with that man. The heck! Honestly, are you just going out? a lot of crap. If you want to take it out on someone, go to Move On Park. Thank you! How dare you end your anger at the kids? That's so mature of you. Are you um, the only ones who've lost your family here? Me and him can't guarantee our family li family's lives either. And have you guys gone nuts? Out of all of you, there's not one person who has the right, my right uh, to badmouth him. Are you saying, you're saying weird things. Are you here to be a moral person on the battlefield? What are you, Nightingale? We're at war. A war where you um, kill and be killed. 
Um, we're just doing what we feel. We're just doing what we feel like doing. Oh my fucking god, these people are nuts. Well, they seem to be uh, simply be done as well. In this war, we've lost too many colleagues and family. If you're going to lose, you leave your opponent with the most wounds possible. So we move as we please. You guys stay here and question morality and justice as much as you want. Gauze, water, hurry! Raining the Bureau of Medical Services was intentional because of that we're short med of medical supplies. We've secured two uh, surgical incubators, but this isn't enough. Blood pressure dropping, going into shock. Recommend, um, recommended to move them into the surgical incubator immediately. Water over here first. Stop this. Stop the bleeding. Someone help me. The bleeding won't stop. Blood pressure dropping. Prepare for going into shock. Rx blood trans transfusion needed immediately. Recommended to move them. Recommended to move them to surgical incubator. Shut up. Someone turn that thing off. Prepare for the surgery quickly. If he stays like this, he'll really be in danger. Bring me water and gauze over here quick. Um, need to stop him, uh, the bleeding and blood transfusion. Move to surgical incubator. Damn it, who wouldn't know that? Require Rx blood transfusion um, immediately. Let's start the meeting. Currently, um, we're, we only have two sur surgical incubators, so it's not enough. It's not just incubators. We're short on Rx blood and uh, everything else, too. Incubators aren't our only problem. Even simple treatment is impossible right now. Rather than that, wouldn't it be rational... Um, a uh, rational decision to reselect the leaders? Are you serious? There's no one more capable than Miguel now. Um, you don't you, th you think I don't know that? We have to prepare for the worst. First, get those in uh, good condition to be ready um, to get uh, blood transfusion. Blood transfusion isn't all. There's been a lot of damage to various organs. The interface reported this is um, the best result. If we sacrifice one person from Generation X, we can save up to four leaders. Oh no. No! The data from Bureau of Medical Services was uh, shared either way, Isaac. Your life is the shortest among us. You don't have to explain in detail. I've understood it too. I'll agree. I'll sacrifice myself. Of course, it's Isaac. I can't live long anyway. If by sacrificing myself, three or four talented leaders can be saved, that's rational enough. What are you saying right now? Mrs. I've learned a lot thanks to you. It's a matter he's agreed to. If four competent people can live for the life of one in incomplete person, anyone can see that's the rational choice, right? A103 Isaac is becoming a hero with his, um, with his volition. Goodbye. They're saying this all happily. This is so creepy. A noble choice. Amazing. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll remember you. Noble choice. We'll remember you. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, she ain't letting this happen, huh? Seriously, what kind of outrageous world is this? What's one, what one person's sacrifice could save four leaders? Where did you brats learn such a thing, bad things? I agree to it, too. Be quiet. See another nonsense? Um, I'm going to whip your butt. People's lives aren't numbers. Yeah, Utopia. This is a, you know what this is. This is, a, uh, this is some anti-commie shit. <laughs> This is anti-utopia and anti- which really is anti-commie shit that's happening here. That's what this is a commentary on. Let's be fucking real. We but we all know it's true. Screw the common good and efficiency crap. Why do you have to die? No one can put a value on your life. You're good enough as you are. Good enough already. Nothing is useless in this world, so... Don't say you'll die or not. Hold tight. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Aww. Look at that. Aww. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. They're all out of their minds. The executives kill children like it's nothing. And the kids consider people's lives as mere numbers. How is this? How is this any different from Moobog? Exactly. They're not different. It's two sides of the same coin. I love this mama. This mama and Tower of God, man. They know. It's this way. This way is the shortcut. Thank you, missus, for stopping us. Whoa, you guys. Wait. Wait, take me. 
Take me too. Oh, she want to go? Traitor. Well, come if you just want to. The world is screwed anyway. Wherever we go, things won't be better. Oh, they all want to go. The kids don't want to be like Moomog. Yes! Good job, kids. The kids are like, fuck you, Moomog. Lack of treatment. Intensive care is recommended. So bugs have crawled in. These scums. <laughs> But move on, your utopia is failing. That's right, Key. It goes to show you what I really like about this chapter. And what I've been really liking about these past few chapters is how one voice can make a difference. And you have the two sides of the same coin kind of thing going on, where you have one side that's just like fucking. You have the one side. Where it's basically what Mubong was doing with um, before he became one with the Supreme God. And then, and then you know, like, after... Um, no, this was... Uh, right, Key? It was after um, after Ragnarok. It was... That's what the humans are doing. And then you have Gen X, which is, you know, representing the current Mubong. It's just so interesting, isn't it? <laughs> but... They're not doing that shit now. Ah, the kids are like, fuck this. We leave it. <laughs> I love it. Love it. And Wubong not happy with that shit. But why, though? His, oh, we know why. His Utopia getting destroyed. Yes. Utopia is falling and he is not happy. And there's bugs in the system. He not happy about that. Well, the bugs are probably the humans, but the executives. But ooh, there's a flaw in the there's major flaws in Utopia, and I love that it's Isaac too. It's you know, the biblical shit. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, so I can keep bringing you more out of high school content. Ways you can do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.